What's up everyone, Macklin here with another first look let's play of the new iOS game that just came out today, War Bits by Risky Labs. Kind of like an RTS game, kind of like uh, Advance Wars if you remember that game. The art style of this game looks so amazing. Let's jump right in. War Bits. Get in there. Okay. Cartridge loaded. Um... Yeah, so I've been looking forward to this game for quite some time. Uh, just the, the whole art style, the artwork, look at what's going on in this menu already. Campaign and Versus, uh, looks like there's obviously multiplayer. Um, I, I kind of read a little bit about this. There's kind of like a uh, like a hashtag type system for making multiplayer games, which looks interesting. Okay, tutorial. Welcome, Commander. I'm Blip from the Red Bear Republic, here to advise you. In case you don't remember, the last last war really dunked things up, like, really bad. We've managed to scrape together a semi-functional civilization thanks to this fancy war bits simulator. War bits lets you settle your beast virtually instead of blowing each other to smithereens. You know, the word smithereens isn't used enough. This experiment should last longer than previous attempts, besides we're running low on blastonium. Tap the first mission to begin your training. Okay, let's do it. Sector 1-1. Oh, I love it. Advisor, we're being invaded. Jeez, this was supposed to be a training simulation. What's the deal? It's Blue Whale Empire, sir. They've launched a surprise attack on our sector. Well, crud, let's see what we're up against. These red units are yours as commander of the Red Bear Republic. Okay. These blue nerds over here are being led by the commander wave of the Blue Whale Empire. I bet they put ketchup on their eggs. What savages? I like ketchup on my eggs. Yeah, ketchup on my scrambled eggs. Yeah, I like that. Jeez, what's up with these guys? Anyway, tap on a unit to get this party started. Okay. Let's tap on a unit. You've activated your first unit. See all those white dots? Yes. Each tile covered in dots represents a valid, a valid move in this unit's range. Only one unit can occupy a tile, and not all units can traverse all terrain. Interesting. You activated the HV Infantry, a direct combat unit. Close quarters, I see. Direct combat unit needs to be right next to the enemy to attack, which means they'll take return fire. These suckers pack a serious punch, but they dish out damage better than they take it. So be sure to attack first. Okay. All right, let's get ready to rumble. That flashing arrow tells you an enemy unit is in range. Yes. Tap that LT mech to target it for attack. Uh, you are going to die, sir. Oh, great work. The enemy is in our sights. Yes. The enemy will get a chance to counterattack, so it's important to strike first to reduce incoming damage. Okay. Tap on the enemy again to confirm the attack. Let's do it. Whew, that was exhausting. Your units will need to rest for at least one turn before they can be used again. Don't want to tick off the space union. Tap another unit to keep going. Okay, uh, let's get this guy. This is the LT Mech, a well-rounded direct combat unit with great movement range and firepower. Wow, look at all that movement range. Since they're direct combat, you'll need to be next to the enemy to unleash, unleash their fury. This unit's armor and range make them great for frontline front line units for picking fights. Stick to the stable train like roads and planes if you plan on getting anywhere fast. Interesting. So the different train actually can slow down your movement, I guess? That's kind of cool. Goodbye, sir. Force unit down. All right, next unit. This is an LT infantry, light infantry, I guess. The grunts of the army. Infantry units are capable of direct combat as well as capturing cities and other structures. It looks like this neutral city is within range, ripe for the taking. Move on to a city is all it takes to start capturing it. Tap the city to target, then tap again to confirm the order. Okay. I want that city. Give me your cities. All structures have 20 capture points. Infantry units at full health can reduce 10 capture points a day. Once a city is at zero, it's all yours. At full health, it will only take two days. Cities under your control generate funds for you every day, so it's crucial to capture and protect them. They are also capable of repairing and resupplying ground units that are rested on them at the beginning of each turn. Interesting, remember that. Awesome, now that you've used all of your unit's actions, it's time to end your turn. Okay. You end your turn through the menu, tap an empty tile to get the menu button to appear. Okay. Empty tile, end turn. Oh, end turn, there we go. Hey, that's not fair, you got to go first. 
Fair. What's not fair is abusing condiments when simple seasoning will suffice. I like salt and pepper on my eggs as well. Hey, Doofus, you will acknowledge that ketchup on eggs is a perfectly acceptable breakfast item. I kind of agree with him. I don't know if I want to attack him. I kind of like the blue whale. Prepare to perish. Okay, so do I have to leave this guy on here? Check it out. You've done some damage. Be careful not to abandon the structure. <laughs> Uh, question answered, or your progress will be lost. Tap the capture button to keep going. Uh, capture. Oh, okay. Capture it. Okay, nice. Turned red. Now it's mine. So I own that unit I, or that base. So I guess I can probably move him after that. Now I don't know. We'll see. Uh, he's gonna try to capture that base probably. So let's get to killing. And then we're gonna move this guy. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. That was dumb. See, I blocked the path of this guy. Now he can't attack that guy, so we're gonna have to go attack this guy. That was dumb of me. That was dumb. That's all right. Uh, okay, so in turn. We're learning, we're learning. Uh-oh, it's a real full-on battle here, boys. Uh, oh, Red Bear Day 3, okay. Uh, so we obviously wanna try to take him down, right? He's 61%. One, he's down, okay. So now, I believe I can move this guy, right? I'm pretty sure. So let's move that. We're gonna attack. Oh, oh, I can capture or attack. Ugh. I forgot about capturing. Let's just kill him. Let's give. Let's get him out of the. Let's get him out of the way. Uh, darn it! I think I should have. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what he does here. Oh no! Don't let that unit die. Don't let that guy die. We're not gonna, we're gonna kill him right now. This is it. Yes! Our breakfast! I can't believe we lost! Victorious! Red Bear Republic! I like ketchup on my eggs! <laughs> Alright, continue. So long, ketchup crown on my sweet breakfast. Perhaps I should find another fruit to adorn my breakfast. Ah, uh, fruit. You know, ketchup is made of tomatoes, right? Is that big head of yours just full of air? As a matter of fact, tomatoes are the fruit of the nightshade plant, you filthy peasant. Oh, for reals? I guess we'll fix that right now. You're on, simpleton. All right, let's do one more here. On the first Let's Play, first look. Sector 1-2, moving on. Man, dig this art style, guys. Just give up, you don't stand a chance against my brains and my brawn. Looks like Wave isn't joking around. If we don't do something quick, those light mech units are going to toast our infantry. Uh-oh. Luckily, we're packing some serious firepower of our own. Mech units can't travel on mountains, so they'll have to go the long way around. That airhead is in for a world of hurt. He sure is. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got a lot of different units here going on. Um, hmm. Uh, what do we have here first? This is an APC unit. It's not made for combat, but it's excellent at transporting a single infantry unit. It's also capable of resupplying adjacent allied units when they're low on ammo and gas. Okay. Once you've arrived at your destination, tap the unload button and pick when you want to drop the cargo. Let's try to get that infantry back to our headquarters for debriefing. Also, he will die if you leave him there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this guy we gotta get, I guess this is a light infantry, right? This little guy is in a tough spot. We should get him out of the harm's way. The APC over there might be just a ticket. To load your infantry, simply move him on top of the APC and you're good to go. Okay. Seriously, we need to go. I got it. I understand the dire need of this situation. So we're going to move him over to here. Got him in the APC. Now we got to move the APC away from the other guys, right? I'm guessing. Uh, so yeah. So let's move him over there. Okay, so now we got to start killing these guys. So uh, let's kill... The, oh, this is artillery or range unit. Range units can blast the enemy from afar, which means you take no return fire. Don't go crazy though, range units can only attack or move in a single turn, and if they're attacked first, they're sitting ducks, okay. Oh, and one more thing. If you tap and hold down on the union conditional info, tap the target info, okay. Tar the tra tap the target icon to see their attack range. It's totes handy. If we play our cards right, we can take those blue wheels, those, <laughs> turn those blue wheels into blubber. Okay, so tap and hold, right? Oh, uh, what does all this mean? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, what do these other menus do? Oh, wow, it even tells more info. Okay. 
What's this do? And that shows you where you can move. Okay, great. Um, so he's the closest. So let's do something like this. Let's attack this guy, right? So we're gonna go boom. Okay. So he's attacked. Um, oh, let's see how far he can hit. He can't hit those guys over there yet. Darn it. Okay. And he can't move on a mountain either. So we're gonna move him right there. And we're gonna move this guy right here. And why is this light mech all the way over there? Let's move him down here. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good, boys. Let's enter. 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 There we go. Ooh, this is looking good for me, I think. I think. Can he hit... Oh, he can't hit that guy. Okay, perfect. So, hopefully this is going to end him. Nope. Darn it. Looks like we're gonna need one more hit here on him. We gotta take this guy down, so. Yes, okay, got one of their units down. And I can attack this guy all the way back there, so I'm gonna do that. Perfect. And, oh. Oh, okay, hmm. Um. You know what, I'm gonna move this over here. I don't know if this is the right move or not. But, okay, let's see. Let's end it. End turn. Okay, blue well, day two. Woo! Uh-oh. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good, guys. Right there, D3. Okay, so we gotta protect the infantry, right? And then we gotta move... Okay, he can hit this guy. Perfect. Perfect. He can get this guy... Oh, wait. Um, let me see something here. Hold on. Nope. Let's try this. Uh, no. Let's try this. Yeah. Oops. There we go. Okay, one left, it looks like. Is this the last guy? And he can attack too. This might be it, guys. Great, I can't put ketchup on my eggs, and now tomatoes or vegetables? You got that right. At least I have my berries and cream. Oh, man, I love the humor in this. Have all the berries you want, nerd. We out. Victorious! On day three of sector one, two. Awesome. Oh man, looks like I doubled up on all those skills. I don't even know what all this means. This is awesome. You know, strawberries aren't really berries in the botanical sense. They're derived from a flower with multiple, multiple ovaries, which make them an aggregate fruit. You're an aggregate moron. How many more times do we have to kick your butt? You really shouldn't talk to your future boss that way. Ooh, cocky. I don't have time for this. Just get lost. Awesome. Moving on to the next one, guys. If you guys want to see more of War Bits, please comment down below. You're going to see more of this game. Uh, I'm loving it. Great job, Risky Labs. Until next time, please subscribe. I'm out.